Hello and welcome to a new episode from Mac the Tech. This is Muhammad. I am Power BI consultant and I'm here to help you in your Power BI project. I make a small series of episodes that cover different topics in Power BI to guide you and help you in your Power BI journey. I think you will like the content that I'm presenting. And for this, I'm going to ask you to subscribe for this channel, turn on the bell icon to receive notification as soon as I post something new and like and share the episode with your friends that are interested in such content. Without further ado, let's go to the episode and see what today we are going to cover in Power BI. In this episode, I'm going to speak about May 2022 update and specifically on two main things that I think many of the users asked about and wanted to see how they can do such things in a good way. One of the important things is the format pane. The format pane is painful the way it is right now because every time you want to go to the format pane, for example, if you select this visual and you go, for example, to values, you need you see you need always to expand to see more. And this is something that is annoyed a lot of developers for Power BI, that everything, every time it is collapsed, you have to expand to see all these options, which require more clicks. So here's the solution. The solution is that Power BI in their preview features, they've added for the visuals something very nice for the new visual of format pane. If you click on the ellipses here or the three dots that you see here, you can actually collapse or expand all categories for the current visual, or you can go to more options and you can turn on expand all subcategories by default when you open a category and here you can see if we select this one all the categories now if you go to the values you will see them open and they are not closed even if you go to columns and subtotals for example you can see all subcategories are open like you see the values the columns the apply settings too which is less hectic clicks as you go now we go to the second update that i saw in may 2022 which is if you go to settings so that you can turn it because it's a preview feature. So you go to settings, you go to preview features, and here it is. It is called field parameters. Field parameters. What are field parameters? So in a nutshell, a field parameter is a field that you can customize and then you can add them to the visual. At the same time, you can have a slicer that will make you switch between visuals the way you like. If you remember this episode, it's the last episode that I did before this one. It's called Sparklines in Power BI. And if you like it, I'll keep a link to this on the top of the page. Now back to the parameters. So if I want to duplicate this one, and I'm gonna name this as field parameters. Just to show you how powerful this field parameters, I'm going to add a very simple thing called uh, a color. So if I add color here and I'll remove the spark lines so that you can see I have black, blue, green, red, yellow. And let's make this visual in a better appealing way. Okay. So here you can see the field parameters. They are red, yellow, blue, green which I made in this database. So let's create the field parameters. So you go to modeling. In the modeling, you'll see new parameters. And this one can be numeric range, which is actually a measure, or fields. And if you click on fields, see how nice it is. Field, so I'm going to call this parameter fields. And then I'm going to go to my sample data. I'm going to select color, product, and I'm gonna also select product family. So you can see in here, you can actually name it the way you want, for example. You can put it, you can sort it in a different way. You can add whatever you like. You can put the color underneath. So, and also, for example, this is product. Uh, I can say whatever, you can name it whatever you want. Let's say, for example, this is only PRO, for example. But let's, for the sake of this exercise, keep it product. But I'm just showing you that you can actually change the name of this and create. Once you create this, you have here a slicer. 
and this slicer can be changed to whatever you want. So basically, you can see first, you have now a parameter called field parameter, and here it is. At the same time, you have a slicer for it that you can customize. So if you go to this visual slicer settings, and you can make it multi-select, you can make it single select. You like, for example, I can like it to be horizontal. And this way, I will have this selector like this as a slicer, which is to me more visually appealing, and I like it more. So now if I click here, nothing is happening because the parameter is not there, as you can see. But say, if I want, I can do the following. Go to this visual, I'm gonna remove product, I'm gonna remove color. So now I'm gonna add the parameter in here. And you can see because I chose product family, it's showing me all the families here. So family four, family two, if I choose product, it will change to product four, product three. And if I choose color, it will choose the red, blue, black. Why? Because it is now in a better way. And if I go to the slicer setting and I make it multi-select, so I can multi-select. So here I can press control and select product with this color and it's appearing like this. So if I go down there, you would see the field and the color. Now they are appearing as well. If I add product family as well by clicking product, then I go even drill. So now I have the product and the family as well together. This is the field parameter and you can see the use case because this way you can build one visual and you can change the access to whatever you want. This is a game changer to me in Power BI because this way instead of using or sticking only to, you know, remember the bookmarks or selections or whatever and hiding and showing, I don't need to do this anymore. All I need is create a product field and then the access can change to whatever I want as long as the value is there. Another thing you can do, but I'm gonna leave this to another episode, is that you can create measures and use them in the field parameter. And this way you can change the values instead of changing the fields underneath. That's it for today. I hope you liked the episode. And if you liked the episode, please, please write in the comments, what did you like? And let's open a discussion about the episode and what you think is challenging to you in your Power BI project. I'm here to help you. Please reach out if you need any help. Have a nice day.